All right. The reason for this video in the first place is because I have gone from Washington to Indonesia. The reason why we're doing that is my brother-in-law, Mike, actually lives and works at a school there in Malang. We zoom in here, we're going to see that it is the Wesley School. It's an international school, helps a lot of missionaries, and it's a good deal. And this is him picking us up in Surabaya. Uh, he has a cat, apparently, and I like picking up cats, so I was pretty excited to be able to see him. We drove in late and slept the night. Uh, getting up and watching the uh, sunrise was pretty amazing. They have a lot of mountains around them. Uh, unfortunately, most of the time they're covered in with smog, but today was a good day, so we were able to see some of them. Along with it are a number of mosques that I'll be talking about with the morning prayer and everything else. This morning I went out and did a run around on their track field. Wesley School works a lot with small classes and they work a lot with unity and building up the community that they have. A lot of very dedicated expat students. And this is me running. Uh, this actual shot took me way too long to do, so I had to include it. Hopefully I'll be able to get out in the community a little bit more later on. Uh, we went ahead and we're moved into or helped to move into a house that we're getting. The house was beautiful. It was pretty old, but you could tell that it had a lot of repairs on it and walking in it was kind of magical to see how open it was, tall ceilings, cute little backyard. Okay, this is what you need to over here. It's a drying place or just a playing area. And you can go down into the let's go down to the garden. That'd be Cousins were able to spend some time in the backyard playing around a little bit. I don't, I just put this in here. This, uh, oh wow, just how they made that. Oh, bananas, look. Uh, you should be able to hear, this is, they've got a number of mosques around them, and they appear to be doing basically mic checks the entire day. Uh, yeah, it's, you get pretty used to it over time. This is an example of the open hallways they have at the school. Each class has about 8 to 18 students in it, depending on the grade. A little bit of time to play on the playground that they had there. And another example of that mosque, or a little better picture of that mosque that uh, was playing all the noise. They also have a pool, which they're pretty proud of, and I'm hoping to spend some time in. Uh, another example, some of the school grounds. Oh, here we are. We're going to go on a shopping trip. We had to pick up some general stuff. So we drove through the streets. They drive on the left-hand side and the scooters kind of do it. Oh, this is a really cool shop, uh, high-end supermarket. Uh, I found the Nimbus 9000. I was pretty excited with that. And we drove to another shop because that wasn't, didn't have what, everything we needed. As I mentioned earlier, most of the driving around here is a little bit chaotic, but people seem to know what they're doing. Primarily uh, cars mixed in with a lot of scooters. Helmets are pretty optional. You'll see a lot of people wearing them, but other times uh, you'll see an entire family of four packed onto a single scooter. It's a little bit weird. It almost looks like the kid's driving for a while. As we come up here, you're going to see a load of bamboo that's being towed kind of precariously. If you also look on the left-hand side, there's a guy in a orange jacket. He's directing traffic. He's not really a police officer or anything like that. They just appear to hire these people to stand in the middle of the road and blow whistles. 
Uh, here is the step down from where we were, uh, and here is a bag of eggs that I took a picture of, apparently. Later on, went to shopping. We went to an ice cream shop that was interesting. Uh, they had a lot of different mangoes and boba, different flavored with their ice cream. And overall, not bad. Not bad at all.